When it comes to the gym, I want my workouts to be fun and effective. So welcome to my week of workouts. What's up? Little outfit check. Legacy, legacy. Gotta love it. Oh, dude. Oh, wait, my socks don't match. Yeah, wait, I have to change the socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exposed. Uh, so listen, here's the deal, you guys. We're living in a blizzard right now. So yesterday we didn't get to go to the gym, and today Darren and I are uh, putting on our snow boots and all of our gear, and we're gonna gear up and try to go to the gym. So that should be interesting, it should be fun. Darian, what are your thoughts? So what are my thoughts? Yes, and I'm, I'm gonna eat this banana. I'm along for the ride. Okay, so I'm gonna eat this banana. <laughs> it is so snowy out. We've only had less than half an inch of snow, but it's all been blown into into our backyard. So that's all you get to see. Don't try to come find me. Hmm. So. You guys already know, before we go to the gym, we gotta do our pre-workout. I already filled this up with water. Pretend for, okay, let's go get pre-workout. <laughs> watermelon is my favorite. This is Watermelon Candy by Bean, Code Brit. Honestly, the greatest flavors. This and Sour Blue Gummy, the best. I've recently switched to Bean, and I love them. No shade to the old company, but sometimes you find something a little bit better, and you gotta make the switch. Can I make you a glass too, Darian? Please, please. I said, Darian, do you wanna be on camera with me? They said, no. Let me just film you. Darian, guess I did get a nice special glass. Would you like ice? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Do you want a full scoop or three fourths of a scoop? Uh, full always, please. Full always. All right, drinking wine out of the shaker. So they lost the cap. Darian, you even get a glass straw. Oh, goody. You guys, Fire. these straws are the worst because she brings them in the car and then while you're driving, they just clank against the glass. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad because I'll bring this in the car but I'm trying to like get in the habit of a shaker because like use the mini for the pre and then drink that and then have my water, like the full shaker be water, but it's so much cuter in this. So we'll see if Darian and I blow away or if we even make it to the gym or if the gym's open, but gonna give it our best shot. We're doing a taste test, watermelon candy. My new favorite. It's so good. Tastes just like the watermelon sour patch kids. Here you go, Darian. What is that? Bottoms up, let's go. All right, now we can officially say, let's go to the gym and let's get this lift. Bye. The drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No break, sweet go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, 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 no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. All right, I'm bringing in the voiceover for the rest of this workout, give you guys some tips when it comes to this workout. So let me just say, I took this workout as inspo because I looked at the clock and I knew that we had about 40 minutes to get in and out, including a warm up for both of us plus filming. So I dialed this workout back to four exercises. This is great. If you are short on time, you can still get such a fire workout. I know so many people get so stressed like they need to be in the gym for an hour or an hour and a half. No, you can get a solid workout in, in 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I do it all the time. I feel like that's almost a common theme when it comes to my week of workouts. At least one or two of the days out of the week, I'm like, oh, I'm running low on time. Like, let's get it done anyways, though. So I started off with a set of 10, way too light, bumped up to 40s and absolutely destroyed that. It felt so good to be able to shoulder press. I haven't shoulder pressed in such a long time, so I'm glad I got to implement that. This is a shoulder and tricep workout. There's no chest, I had to skip the chest. Also, I'm doing 15 pounds for lateral raises. It felt so good. After the three sets of shoulder press, I moved into lateral raises and I did 15 pounds on these. I graduated to the 15th, such a big deal. And then I'm doing a compound set and also doing front raises with them. 
And after the first two sets with 15 pounds, I ended up dropping down to 10 just to make sure I could maintain good form. Some form cues when it comes to lateral raises are you're gonna keep your back straight and you really wanna brace your core. You're gonna slowly lift the weights out to your side until your arms are pretty much parallel to the floor and you're gonna have a slight bend in your elbow. I think a huge goal when it comes to lateral raises is taking your time and not trying to like speed up the weight or swing the weight up. Finishing out this upper body workout with tricep extensions, keeping my elbows as glued to my side as I can with just extending and flexing that tricep, Try, trying as hard as I can not to recruit any other muscles, just using that tricep. And it's looking pretty good. <sighs> oh my gosh. Hold on. 65 in Orlando. There it is. Yikes. What's it feel like? <laughs> Yikes. Oh. Dude, that hurts. Negative 17 is when it starts to hurt. It was, it was, <laughs> it was getting a little bit hard to breathe out there, I'll be honest. Yeah, you can. But I'm so proud that we made it to the gym. Let's go. If this yeah. is so zoomed in, this is the 35, so I'm it's like my turning. turn. A true gentleman turns on your butt warmer. What's up you guys and welcome back. I'm wearing the rest day sweats and pants and then I'm wearing the legacy underneath it. So I've got the legacy shorts and then these legacy bandeau bras, which are fire. So these are actually detachable and you can crisscross them in the front and back, which is really cool. So that's today's gym fit. I've got the legacy set and then also the rest day sweats and I need to put the sweatpants back on, but I needed to take them off so that you could see that I was wearing the shorts. These are such flattering shorts and they're really cute. And then for shoes today, I'm gonna be wearing my Nike Metcons and honestly I just think that they're really cute and I think that they match really well especially with this green and I always wear tall white socks you already know so I got the legacy shorts and sports were on in the green color which I love and then the rest day hoodie and sweats so that is today's gym fit and let's get our pre-workout and then we'll head to the gym and let's get this lift it's leg day Alright, so I did a warm up off camera. It's my typical lower body full warm up. It is dynamic, it's full of mobility, all of that. And of course, I think it would make a great separate video, but I'm jumping right into the workout here. I just want you to preface, like, and know I always do a warm up, it's just not shown. So for today's workout, we're going a little bit lighter than usual because we're going for more endurance and more of a build. So we're doing three sets of 12. Again, this is part of my new program called Shred on my app. This new style of training has been kicking my butt because I'm not used to these higher reps. Absolutely destroyed me. This whole workout is just absolute gold. Now I'm moving into RDLs with dumbbells as I'm used to more of the strength building, right? So more six, eight, 10 reps high. The only time I'll ever do 12 reps is like leg extensions or hamstring curls sometimes, or if I ever do an AMRAP. This was so challenging mentally and fatiguing on my body in such a new way. This just definitely pushed me in a new way, which for me was really rewarding. Some Q-tips when it comes to RDLs, you definitely wanna keep your back neutral as you do these and just picture yourself closing a door with your butt. So you're gonna drive those hips back, get a slight stretch in your hamstrings, and then drive your hips back forward as you stand up. But RDLs are one of my all-time favorite exercises and I love them with dumbbells over barbells. So next up are Bulgarian split squats. This is a heavy hitter workout. Hip thrusts, RDLs, and Bulgarians, crazy. So I actually like to set up my Bulgarian before I grab the weight. If you saw how I kind of lean back, put all your weight, make it straight, and then you kind of come up on it, that just shows you like the perfect distance that your leg should be for Bulgarian split squats. And if you want more glute biased, again, see how I'm at like a really big angle, I'm hunched over a lot. That puts a lot more emphasis and pressure and weight on your glutes. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown 
Next up are sumo squats. I love this exercise so much. Your toes are pointed out a little bit. You've got a little bit of a wider stance. A good tip for when you're doing these is to hinge your hips slightly back as you're bringing your shoulders a little bit more forward for leverage. Just make sure your spine is in a neutral position. And then as you lower down in that squat, you're going to drive your heels into the ground and just keep your core engaged throughout the whole time to help protect your low back. Also, why am I smiling? That is fake. I'm not happy. Three sets of 12 killed me. Next up are hamstring curls, and I'm doing 10 to 15 of these. I say 10 because I'm not going to lie. I was not able to hit 15 after the first set, which is the goal. I was hurting, okay? I'm not used to these extreme higher rep workouts. It's going to take my body time to acclimate. I pushed myself more than I could have. This was just wild. But when it comes to hamstring curls, like you can do these on this laying down machine. You could do seated hamstring curls or if your machine doesn't have that grab a bosu ball and you can do laying down hamstring curls where you tuck that ball in to your butt with your heels that is also phenomenal Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. i'm pretty sure that the face at the end of this set explains how painful <laughs> this workout has been and last but not least, our leg extensions. Thank goodness we almost made it through the workout. And again, 10 to 15 reps. Like, I really shot for 12. I had to decrease my weight so much in order to even get any reps out because my legs were just so crazy pumped during this entire workout. So good. Such a tough workout. And this hammers the quads. So I worked out with one of my besties, Amy, and we were trying to find our men at the end of this workout and we took way longer than them for whatever reason. And this is how we found them. This is how we found them. <laughs> oh my God. Our boys. <laughs> Love them. Wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Love you. Is that a purple Whitney Simmons and then the Rouge training bra for back day? Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, dear. Oh, there you go. That's so embarrassing. Amy, say hi. Hello. We come out, Darian runs and jumps on the bar. As soon as her fiance, Mike, comes out, does the same thing. We're like boys. They're the same. They're the same. And they're still trying. Darian. So this is a really fun workout because I just love any back day, back and biceps. They're my bread and butter, my all-time favorites. So I did three sets of 10 of all of these exercises, except you know me i just had to go heavy the last set so i cranked out as much as i could just to add an extra set so i did three sets of ten and then i added one set of uh six because it's just me then we moved into lap pull downs it's just hard for me to not push for strength and it's been really fun trying out different programs with just different training styles it's been really rewarding so again three sets of ten when it comes to lap pull downs back is looking saucy and it feels really good sometimes having lighter weight you can have a little bit more mind to muscle connection and just really focusing on that form that's what i am doing like ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky can get high with me that's a deal right ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky can get high with me that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right Ay, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate to plot my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. Next up are rear delt flies, and these were so 
fire. You can do these on the cable, which is what I typically do. I feel like you guys see me do this all the time on the cables, but I ended up picking up dumbbells and got such a good workout in with them. And I did three sets of 10. I don't give a what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. And I'm ending with more biceps just to pump the biceps i ended up doing the hammer curls which your bicep has two different muscle heads right so one muscle two muscle heads one of them is the long head and one is the short so when you're doing a straight bar that's the short head in a hammer curl like this is your long head of that bicep muscle all right you guys we'll see how good this camera is in night mode it's actually not bad there's no light on me so i have no idea how i'm appearing on the camera you guys we're at the gym it's nighttime. i don't know why i keep doing this to myself this is the third workout this week where it's been late at night why am i doing this i hate night workouts i have no energy i have no motivation but i'm here and i'm showing up for myself i'm holding myself accountable and i'm here Thank goodness for freaking pre-workout that is caffeine free. So Beam has this like stim free pre-workout. It's literally my lifesaver. It's the only way I've gotten through these workouts because it's just fun to be able to still have that in a routine and just be able to have some kind of pre-workout and just feel in the routine even though it's at nighttime. I love working out in the morning as opposed to night, but it is what it is. We're here and again not every day it is easy to show up to the gym it is not it is not easy at all i am running my brand new program that it is cardio so i have a hit circuit and then core so i've got a cardio circuit and then a core circuit which it's actually not that daunting which makes me feel really happy whenever i'm a little bit stressed out about the gym and my workout i have a workout planned but then i'm also like okay this isn't gonna be too bad I just am so much more likely to go into it. I don't feel like these workouts are super intimidating. They are meant to get your heart rate up. They're meant to be fun and exciting. But again, the hardest part, again, is coming to the gym. And it's so much easier when I have a program written. So I'm so excited. I'm actually in a good headspace. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get in and get out. Today's workout tops should be 30 minutes from warm up to finish because this day is programmed to be a slightly smaller and shorter than the other days. If you need to run a four day split, but you wanna work this program, you can add this cardio and core to the end of one of the other lifting more resistance training days. I would suggest have it be at the very end of the week. So with the last upper body day or day two, but day two is pushing it because that's gonna, yeah. I don't know, it's wild. So I'm gonna pull up my app real quick. I don't think I've ever done a walkthrough. I probably need to do that. I never have internet around here, yikes. So there's like a little start here section and then all of the programs are at the very beginning of the app. So you can see Shred is the new one and there's a little about me section or about the program here. And then all the other five programs are throughout here. There's also recipes you can look at. And then I also break up some workout splits. So for example, if you're like, oh, I just want a quick workout today. I have some on there. They're organized, they're categorized. A little bit easier than it is on Instagram, you know, cause Instagram still there's free workouts there. But if you want to follow something a little bit more fluid, like I've got you in every single, oh, let me show you this because I actually had people say like, where are the exercise videos? And I'm like, what do you mean every exercise so like i tap into it i'll hit star and then you're in the workout and you'll just tap and then this is the workout video that you can tap and then once you're in here all you have to do once you're in this section is swipe like instagram stories and you can see the whole workout in here it's going to tell you everything that you need in here and you just keep going there's a timer and everything but once you're in this section oh see you can see scroll you can just keep going like this so you don't have to be in the other screen you can just kind of swipe through like that. So that's really awesome. And when it's a circuit, it runs just like a circuit. So easy for you and it has the timer. So it tells you when to go on the next one. Or if it's like reps and stuff, you just figure that out on yourself and you can swipe to the next exercise when you need to. So that's the 411 on the app. It's a fantastic app. I love it. I have so many programs coming in the new year. I've got strength training that I cannot wait. Like a strong program where we're just, we're lifting heavy. I'm trying to help you guys get up your maxes. That's coming in the new year. Pull up. That one's coming, mobility, pregnancy, postpartum, all the things. I'm so excited. And now let's head to the gym. Let's get this cardio session.
Okay, you guys, it's the official end of today's video. I'm not even gonna lie, I filmed this at the end of December and I thought I had uploaded it and I hadn't, so here you go. It's just, you know, just a couple weeks late, just a month, a month late. This is when I was testing out the brand new Shred program for my app, as you clearly saw throughout the entire video. And I am now changing up my training routine, so I'm actually gonna do an updated video on that. Like, it was fun to try out some of the Shred program's workouts and everything. It is an amazing, amazing program for a lot of you who want to have that type of training style. But for me, we all know. We all know I'm a sucker for strength. With that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok for even more tips and tricks. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.